free Pavel Durov. Free Pavel Durov. As some of you guys will know, the founder and owner and creator of, of Telegram was arrested in France while out there traveling with some, what seems like to be a CIA operative, some woman, some honeypot trap that he was, you know, lured into and decided to go to Paris, thought he'd be safe, got arrested because um, the Parisian courts, Parisian government wanted to bring charges against Telegram for their, you know, openness to have criminals on there and all this malarkey. And then, of course, slapping some pedophile allegations on his head top because they're saying there's a d dissemination of information across the board that's being freely shared on Telegram and that he's the one responsible for it because he owns the platform. It's like, come on, bro. Is the fucking creator of BIC responsible for people writing bad checks? Like, it doesn't make no sense. Is the creator of Royal Mail responsible for people sending drug packages through the mail? Of course not. It makes no sense. Either way, um, he's now he, he's now been released from prison, I think. Um, he's on... He can't leave Paris. So, he can't leave France, basically. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Until his court case. But it's looking a little bit sussy and a little bit touchy for him. So, this is an article courtesy of the Financial Times. It says, the Pavel Durov case is not about free speech. It says, the hashtag free Pavel Durov launched by Elon Musk spread quickly after Pavel Durov recent arrest in Paris. Many of who reposted it portrayed Telegram founder detention as an assault on free speech. In direct sense, it's not. Durov faces preliminary charges on French probe of Telegram's alleged failure to address criminality on its platform, including drug peddling and child abuse uh, um, material. A court may ultimately um, have to decide whether the app broke French law and whether the Russian-born CEO can be held responsible. But it is an issue of free speech, though, because I think there was a report that came out that said initially the French government reached out to Pavel Durov and Telegram and try to get them to limit certain things and not allow certain platform, not allow certain speech on their app or certain services, blah, 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 blah. And obviously, Telegram knew the moment they let one government a backdoor or they allowed them the ability to put the reins on their service, it's going to open the floodgates to everybody else coming in and having a word to say. So if you can't have free speech across the board for everybody, you have to limit it, then it's not free speech. You know, it's the same thing. Um, so this, and but I guess the, really tetchy thing for him is like the dealings that are happening on telegram that's probably the really sketchy thing for Pavel Durov, because if you know you know there's a bunch of people on telegram selling multivitamins and on telegram they have like shop bots they have an, an inbuilt system where you can create a bot where you can kind of process orders for your multivitamins you're selling and handle it all inside the app you know obviously the payment processing is done outside of it but you can handle the actual order processing you know the order process you know workflow all through the all, all through the app basically you can have it it's got its own inbuilt shopify system built into it so if that's the case if that's the case if that's the case oh it's gonna be difficult for him not to be able it's gonna be difficult for him to like say he's not responsible for that because it's your fucking app but we'll see I'm hoping not to be the case. So free Pavel Durov. Um, it continues. U.S. conservatives and Silicon Valley entrepreneurs have found themselves in a strange concert with Russian bloggers in alleging that the Durov detention shows that European tech regulations certainly more hands-on than U.S. variety is on the road to censorship. It's always been like that though, isn't it? Senior Russian officials among Telegram's most avid users claim that Paris is trying to force um, Durov to hand over the app's encryption keys. Top marks the U.S. for goal. Durov has said that he fled Russia in 2014 and sold these Viatonic uh, website network to Kremlin-friendly buyers after refusing to demands to share Ukrainian data. Russia tried to ban Telegram in 2018. So it seems like he's one type of people that he'd rather like burn. He'd rather go down himself. He'd rather sit in prison then hand over the keys to the back door of his site, hand over the admin access to governments and shit, which I kind of respect. You have to respect that, that kind of um, being that steadfast in your principles and how you view the world that you're going to be like, you know what? No circumstances are you going to get the back doors to my app and what I'm doing here. No way. The app's distinctive ethos and structure to reflect Dora's rushing experiences and explain the scrutiny is now under. It rejects anything that it sees censorship or interference, resulting in much lighter content moderation than most counterparts and a resistance to answering regulators or legal um, agencies' inquiries, which forms a part of the French prosecutor's complaint. Telegram's privacy policy says that it would disclose user data if a court order confirmed that they were the terrorism suspect, but as so far, this has never happened. And that's the thing is, I've always wondered, like... That's the thing I've always wondered why it's so unfair with social media and shit. Like, I understand that Elon Musk is a bit of a dick. I understand he's a bit of an arsehole. I understand he's a bit of an attention seeker. I understand he's just a bit of a weirdo. But I do also enjoy his era of Twitter ownership because it's a different experience. You go on there and see, like, Nazis and racists and misogyny. You see crazy shit. 
crazy shit happening on Elon's Twitter that you never saw before under Jack Dorsey's tenure. I don't mind that though. I don't mind certain people's tenure being the reason why a certain app is steering a particular way and everyone has their turn or a platform. You go to a certain platform for a certain type of experience. The reason that I have an issue with this sort of thing is almost like they want to nerf every social media platform. So every platform is the same experience. Sometimes if you want no holds barred, crazy wild shit, I want to be able to go on Twitter and see some of that stuff. I want to see negativity. I want to see horrible videos of people getting knocked out and run over. I want to see all that sort of stuff. But if I want to go and see some people traveling, I want to see fucking, you know, Christian girl summer content. I know where to go on IG and where to go seek that sort of content out. I don't want my kind of social media experience to be the same across the board. I want it to be varied. Like Telegram is like all over the place. It's completely like, you know, it's Mad Max over there. It's fucking all over the place. It's really fucking crazy. So I don't really mind the different experience i just wish there was an, a, an ability for people to have that and not be forced to every platform that is super is super you know lax with them content moderation has completely none is then penalized and has to then install them in order to cut in order to still be a, about and viable that's just not fair do you know what I mean personally for me these principles have made telegram and most um have an important be an important haven for citizens beleaguered by the political opposition groups under the authoritarian regime such as belarus or iran they have also made a platform attractive to extremists and same monitoring groups those engaged in criminal activity by the way i think a lot of the stuff happening in ukraine right when the when the when the fucking um invasion by russian forces started some of the initial reportage and coverage that we got from ukraine i've i swear did it come from it came from telegram so a lot of the initial things that we saw came through Telegram. So if Telegram wasn't around, we wouldn't have been able to have seen firsthand what was happening in Ukraine and how people were suffering and how much of that country has been absolutely decimated by some of the Russian forces. Like we wouldn't be able to see that. And I guess some of the thing happens even in Gaza as well. So that ability to have a platform that's, you know, without censorship and stuff allowed that information to disseminate as freely as it did. Telegram is also called, it's absurd to claim the platform or its owner is responsible for the abuse on the platform. Exactly. I think the same thing. Um, yet the law and most of the society have decades expected traditional telecoms networks to allow wiretaps under court order to law enforcement of bodies pursuing um, crimes. Online networks should be expected to do the same in clearly a rule for the states such as France. It is complex when data may now be held in servers across uh, multiple juris jurisdictions but the nearly 70 countries including the US that have ratified the Budapest Conventions on Cybercrime are already committed to harmonizing laws and facilitating co-operating uh, cooperation sorry against electronic offenses including the spread of child sexual abuse material which extends allowing foreign law agencies to directly query internet service providers china and russia are not members by the way i think they just slap this on people just to get them to comply the moment they mention child sexual abuse stuff everyone's obviously going to be scared and want that not to be on their platform and comply straight away but i think some of these cases are super rare i would say i would just say the most reason why they're annoyed by it because it's a totally free no holds bar platform there's loads of dealings and stuff going on there that they're probably not getting anything out of i'm sure a lot of the kind of ogc element as well is something that they want to keep a hold of drugs moving around too freely or whatever but it doesn't really have to do with like saving the children they don't really care about the children they just want to make sure that they get their fucking cut of whatever's been made and they're not getting at the moment given the scope of the online platforms to act as pubs for illegal activity or for content it is fair too to expect them to play their part in curbing such activities telegram says it observes the eu laws and its moderations and it is and its moderations and breeding ground for the criminal and extremist groups largely because its restrictions are less tight than u.s rivals free speech active advocates argue that um the acquiescing of the law enforcement request from democracies could open telegram up to requests and threats from autocrats which often call political opponents terrorists or criminals but the platform would only enhance its credentials as a haven for free speech if it's purged and the content of any civilized society abhors even the u.s first amendment which gives broad protections for free speech does not shield content or activities that break the law yeah man i don't know man i don't know yeah exactly big up Ochoa, exactly ross albrook man free him i actually read i've actually got I think I've, I've got the book name. I think it might be King of Silk Road or something. 
I've actually got the book about him. Um, you know, obviously his reasons of being locked up has got as well to do a lot with that plot to kill. I think one of his partners or something that that ended up kind of fucking him over that he got annoyed by. But yeah, man, um, it's not looking good for Pavel Durov. I'm not gonna lie, it's not looking good for him. Um, the fact that he's gotten arrested is already an issue, um, and uh, most likely they're gonna try and throw the book at him, especially if he doesn't comply. They're gonna probably make him force him to comply or find a way to take down the site uh but either way i've really enjoyed using telegram hope it does survive i love how it is a wild wild west and it's completely unregulated and crazy but i also want there that to be an option you know i want there to be an, that to be an option so i don't always have to just sit on nerfed platforms and have the same experience again and again and again if possible but again what do i know what do i know absolutely nothing absolutely nothing